So today I want to share with you fragrances that I bought and that sit in my collection now kind of like idle and wondering what they're doing there. Like, what, what, what was I thinking? I know what I was thinking. I'm going to explain. Hang tight. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Charlotte. If you're new here, I do videos on beauty and fragrance. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for being here with me today. Okay, I have five fragrances for you today to share. And I do want to preface this by saying there's nothing like wrong with these fragrances. It's just that knowing what I know about myself and how I use fragrances and what my tastes are, I'm just left wondering what was I thinking when I got these. So yeah, I hope you understand the nuance there. The first fragrance I have to share with you is by Valentino and this is a Valentino Oud Essence. And I got this last year and this was during my phase where I was like, okay, I want to get into Oud. Well, I hate these kind of um, atomizers, you can't actually smell them. But anyway, first of all, this bottle is like really beautiful and I'm not gonna lie, it, I wanted a Valentino in my collection. Uh, to begin with, but I thought that this would be a great layering perfume and I wasn't wrong This actually was intended to be a layering perfume But the thing is is it's it's really oud and like I'm never going to wear oud on its own like this And I'm not enough of an oud lover. I think to probably go out of my way and like combine this oud with something else if you know what I mean so it's not it's one of those perfumes that I'm like I'm not it's not a regret to be honest because I'm really happy to have it and I like smelling it and I like to have it for reference and to understand other perfumes too um and also because I do have a hope that one day you know maybe my well not one day maybe I know that they do my tastes evolve and they change and my knowledge is always increasing too about perfume and fragrance so I still have the belief you know that this might come in handy at some point and in the meantime it's a beautiful bottle so yeah okay next up we have a perfume that I've already talked about and this is Mancera's Choco Violette and this one it's funny because I keep mentioning it in a negative way, right? And I'm starting, I'm starting, you guys. I'm starting to like it. And I'm, while that's happening, I'm trying to understand what it is that I didn't like to begin with and what changed. And I think that to be honest, it's just like when I, it's, it's just like, what was I thinking when I got it? Like, of course, I don't absolutely love chocolate and perfumes. And also, violet. I don't know that I love violets. And then the combination of violets and chocolates together, I think is just kind of risky. I think this was not a good blind buy choice. So for that, it's like a blind buy fail. But I, I still, like, enjoy it and like it. But I just... I, I just think like what was I thinking like obviously I was gonna have trouble with it obviously it wasn't gonna be a safe blind buy you know what I mean so yeah next up mm, I want to say similarly well they're they all kind of have this in common right it's like what was I thinking <laughs> anyway this is euphoria pure gold by Calvin Klein and this is one that I'm really looking forward to maybe trying on I was gonna say glamorous summer nights but my summer nights are not gonna be glamorous uh first of all I don't have euphoria the original this is a flanker and this is a flanker that was only released in the Middle East and that's partly because it's not like a western sort of style of fragrance it's very spicy it's very oody and part of the reason I got this one was because of the solar notes which I thought were super interesting and I tend to really like solar notes so but it's very it's very strong on the like smoky oud uh, spiciness and definitely definitely very unisex like if you handed this to me and you gave it to me and I was supposed to 
you know, guess whether it was marketed to men or women, I would guess that it was marketed to men. But like that doesn't mean anything really, like I'm sure there's a lot of perfumes I like that if I blind s smelled them I would think they were men's perfumes. <laughs> Um, yeah, so I do still want to play around with this, but I do kind of feel like, what was I thinking? Like, I don't know the original OG Euphoria, and the reviews were so mixed on this. Okay, there's also Liquid Gold. So this one, Pure Gold. This is Pure Gold, right? Yeah, that's Pure Gold. And this says, oh, oh my god, of course, that's why I bought it. It sounds amazing. Okay. This is making me want to play around with it some more because this sounds amazing. The main accords are sweet, leather, fruity, vanilla, white floral, almond, amber, animalic, yellow floral, citrus. Maybe it's like, it's because I felt like there was too much going on, which can be jarring too. Um, so anyway, the top notes are dates, solar notes, and neroli. Middle, middle notes are almond, ylang ylang, orange blossom, and rose. And the base notes are leather, benzoin, vanilla absolute, patchouli, and musk. And okay, I totally understand now. Like, honestly, no, I forgive myself. That sounds bloody amazing. And I would fall for it right now. I'm going to have to... Wait, that's nice. Maybe... Maybe it's actually really nice. <laughs> but there is, there's, wait, what is that? Wait. It's, it is actually really nice. It's just, I think when I got it, when I got it, I was like, oh wait, that's not me though. It didn't feel like me. But sometimes you need to wear things a little more, you know? But what is? that sharpness come from is it like the patchouli it's like the patchouli it could be the rose like honestly it could be the neroli it could be the rose it could be the patchouli it could be the benzoin sometimes i don't like benzoin <sighs> i really really need to experiment with this but it has some really really amazing notes in it and it's such an interesting combination and i love that you know um that's why I love perfume so much and why I'm so passionate about it is like I like I like being surprised. I like being challenged. I like having my senses sort of literally like broadened, if you know what I mean, you know? Like it's so interesting and I love being able to find the words to describe what you're smelling. Right now I'm smelling that. I just put like one spray in the air, but I smell it a little and it's 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 nice. I'm gonna have to experiment with with it some more. One thing I will say: this is extremely potent, extremely long lasting. So, yeah, and it's very affordable on the discount sites. I got that one I think for about 45, maybe 50 Canadian max. And next up we have by the house of Dolce and Gabbana, and this is just Dolce Floral Drops. And this here is just like a watery floral pretty perfume and that's just not really me um that said i think that it's perfect for those really hot days when you want something nice and refreshing but wait let me see let's see what it says about it again ah i'm getting some of the dry down of the calvin klein I was wrong, it's good. <sighs> There's still something, but it's definitely better than I thought. Um, so floral drops, yeah, it says floral, fruity, fresh green. Not, not my kind of thing, um, fruity green. But at the top, it has apple, and I really like that. It has neroli, papaya flower, peach, water lily, narcissus, amaryllis, cashmere wood, musk, and sandalwood. So the bus, the busk, <laughs> the base sounds nice. And out of the atomizer, 
it just it does sound nice but of course i'm not going to be wowed by it it's an eau de toilette floral green fragrance like it's not it's not gonna wow me and it doesn't but the bottle is beautiful undeniably so cute and i definitely will be reaching for it during hotter days when i want to wear a perfume but i know all my other perfumes are just too much you know what i mean i'll, I'll wear I'll, I'll wear this one and lastly finally again i need to give myself a break here um <laughs> this was at the beginning of my fragrance journey and as you can see i've never worn it <laughs> um this is by courage and in blue and i remember when i got this this is so weird too because like i like it out of the atomizer like this but when i spray it i don't like it like It's just very green, like aldehydic. But I think the base is supposed to have like some musk and I'm always waiting for it. Oh wait, no, what is it? Let me see. Oh my God. Literally the first three accords. Green, herbal, aldehydic. Uh, yeah, no, it has some earthy elements. So it's, it's a floral aldehyde and the top notes are aldehydes, galbanum, and ginger. Middle notes are chamomile. I do get that, the chamomile. Turkish rose, jasmine, and in the base we have oak moss, patchouli, and sandalwood. Maybe, and again, here I am, like, you know. I do get the very herbal element too from it. So now I'm like, well, maybe it would be really nice and refreshing in the summer. And I believe I did try it last summer after a shower and I was just like no it was just too harsh it had that I just need something a little more round a little bit yeah I do like having a green aldehydic sort of fragrance kind of like for reference too so I can't you know it's fine as long as I don't get a ton like more of them um and I do think see I do like the dry down. I do. I like the dry down. Okay, I'm gonna have to experiment more with this one in the summer. I will let you guys know if something changes for sure. Um, let me know down below if you know this and what your thoughts are on it. Um, I smell it a lot now. It smells good. But like, from far, kind of, <laughs> if you know what I mean. And the, the bottle I think is really cool. I love that I think it's yeah it's cute so anyway that's my video for today I hope that you enjoyed the video if you did please give me a thumbs up and I hope that you will subscribe to my channel if you haven't already um, leave a comment down below letting me know what perfumes you have in your collection that you're like what was I thinking I want to know please let me know down in the comments until next time Please take care of yourself. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.